Supermodel Linda Evangelista is suing for $50 million after a cosmetic procedure allegedly left her body disfigured. Now, Linda rose to fame in the 80s and 90s with fellow models. You remember Cindy Crawford, Naomi Campbell, and Christy Turlington, but hasn't booked any modeling gigs in years. So she was spotted at an airport back in 2017, but has remained out of the public eye. That's because she says she was left, quote, brutally disfigured after a cool sculpting cosmetic procedure on her chin, back, thighs, and stomach. It also claims she wasn't made aware of a rare side effect from the treatment that enlarged her fat cells rather than shrinking them. On Instagram, she said her body is now, quote, permanently deformed, and the lawsuit is a way for her to share her story and rid herself of the shame. This breaks my heart and then having to deal with it so publicly. Yeah, I think that this is going to be the catalyst for a lot of other people to come forward. This is, has never been a secret when it comes to procedures like this. Mm. I'm not saying this one specifically, but these types of procedures became so pedestrian that you could like get a full set and go in the back of a nail salon and get these things done. Um, I've heard about this and I think that a lot of people are sitting in a lot of shame because they don't want to admit that they actually had the procedure done and they had less than stellar or even disfiguring result. Mm. But by her coming forward, I think it's going to open the door to a lot of other people being honest about what happened to them because some people, as opposed to the fat cells dissipating or whatever they were supposed to do, they hardened and they had to get uh, plastic surgery to reverse it if they could reverse it at all. Wow. So I'm glad that she's speaking out and I think that other people are going to as well. Three words, clash, class action lawsuit too. There's I probably many, she's doing a specific cool sculpt and I wonder if there's more people that have been dis disfigured because of that and if that's true you're gonna just see the lawsuit grow and grow and grow I was just gonna button it with you know cosmetic procedures I know it helps a lot of people and I'm all for it trust me I just want people to really do their due diligence yeah. we all know what happened to Kanye West's mom he still to this day blames himself which is heartbreaking Kanye West Kanye West mom died from her procedures of liposuction and breast reduction and she didn't die on the operating table I say that respectfully she died when she went home because there was an, ev an eval like in certain states you have to have a medical evaluation before mm -hmm. they let you out Kanye in his mind was like what if I was in a different state and that's a lot of burden for anybody to deal with, whether it's physically and personally, like Linda Evangelista, or whether it's a family member. So oh, I just yeah. want everybody to remember, a procedure is still a procedure, whether it's elected or not. So just remember that and do your due diligence the best you can. All set, Sam.